you see I'm trying to sleep here? Sorry, I was just looking for my dog. Can you see him? Is that him over there? Yes! Hey, uh, what are you doing out here all by yourself anyway? Long story, but if I don't get back home soon, I'll be grabbing until I'm like 18. <laughs> what do you mean? I ran away from home when I was nine. And look at my place. I've got a bathroom behind the dumpster. The restaurant down the street gives me all their leftovers. And if I need to clean up, I can just go over to the shelter down the street. Hey, now that's what I call living. You left your parents when you were only nine? Why? Yeah, well, I, I guess they just didn't care where I was. Well, I figured if they didn't care, well then, I can just live out here on my own. I lived and worked in a warehouse, that sweeping up for $20 a day. Yeah, after that, I had decent jobs and I drove a car, but there's nothing, nothing like living in the streets. You're free. No rules. No rules? That's right. Nobody tell you what to do, how to eat, no lists, no appointments. You Nothing. didn't give this little girl and her dog our food, did you? What's it to you if I did anyway, huh? I've been living here way long before you two. Oh, hey. Look here. I think I know what you're going through. This stuff happens every day to ordinary people like you and me. Ordinarily, you just be a good little girl and go home. I know you got a loving family. Hey, look what I got. Dinner and breakfast and a little juice to wash it down. So don't worry about Mike, Hetty. He's just talking again. Come to think of it, what's really important is to have people around you who care about you. Even if there are rules. Ah. It's getting late, kid. Maybe I'll see you around. Hey, by the way, the name's Eddie. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Mine's mom. I swear every word of this tale is true.